Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Monday edition of Cash Game Cornerstones for MLB. I'm Steve, this is Slurv, and uh, let's talk about some of our best cash game plays for today. Oh, and uh, come back by around 5 p.m. for the expert chat, where we will be on live answering your questions and uh, just breaking down the slate and making some really good lineups, as well as our written content, and we're hanging around the tailgate, Slurv.com, free to sign up, come chat with us, ask your questions, all that kind of fun stuff. Anyway, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice, interesting slate today. Um... So there's only really a couple of pitchers that I'm interested in, which I like. I'll be narrowing that down. We'll talk about it on the on the chat today. Um, and uh, there's a Coors game, but I don't know how I feel about it. I don't I don't love too many of the plays in it. We got some good pitching going on there. So let's see how we attack that. Starting off at catcher, um, you know there there are the Coors games options that I don't mind. I mean uh, Lacroix is definitely in a good spot, but um, He's really expensive and humbly, I mean, I just don't like that matchup with Hamill. So instead, I propose um, for a value guy going Steven Vogt, 2.4 on DK and 2.4 on FanDuel. Still a little friendlier on DK. Um, but FanDuel also gives us a, a friendlier pay-up guy in uh, Yasmani Grandal against Eflin. Um, oh yeah, Vogt against Gaussman. Gaussman a little bit better against lefties, honestly, but uh, 2.4 is just a fantastic price for, for Vogt, um, and catcher really sucks. <laughs> um, and uh, Grandal is only 3.1 on uh, DK on FanDuel, 4.3 on DK, so kind of expensive there, but um, definitely a play that I can get behind for FanDuel. Okay, so DK and FanDuel on, are not together on the pricing here at first base at all. So I have pretty much different recommendations for each. On DK, I'm really looking at Crush Davis. Kind of really broke out of his slump yesterday. You might have noticed the Orioles scored a whole bunch of runs. Uh, he gets Graveman today. It's only 3.4 on DK. It's just insanely cheap for him. Uh, he's 3.6 on FanDuel, so still not too bad. And then uh, Edwin Encarnacion is only 3.9 on DK against Odo Rizzi, who actually struggles more against righties. Um, and they're at home, so the stadium is good for righty power. He's 3.9 on DK and uh, 3.7 on FanDuel. But then FanDuel really gives some better better bargain options that are more expensive on DK. Uh, AJ Reed is in play against Tyler Duffy, who's not the good Duffy, um, but really only on FanDuel. He's 3.3 on DK, so I don't love that, but he's bare minimum 2.0 on FanDuel. Uh, if he's in the lineup, I certainly don't mind saving some money there. He does have power, so he does have some upside. Um, and then I uh, also really like Miggy on FanDuel. He is the most expensive first baseman, but he's only 3.9, which is a lot less than the 5.4 he is on DK. And, um, you know, relative to some other guys like VR, he's not that expensive. Um, and he faces Iwakuma, not a guy that I love to target, but um, it is Miggy, and I think that's just a fantastic price for him. So FanDuel has made second base pretty easy for cash today. Uh, play Devin Travis. He's had a leadoff dong in uh, his last two games. I'm not saying to expect that again, but same thing. Odo Rizzi struggles more with righties. Um, good stadium for righty power. He's 2.7 on FanDuel, so just too cheap on DK's 4.0, but I still think he's my favorite second baseman there. Um, although I really kind of also like Ian Kinsler, um, I'm factoring BVP into this pretty heavily against Iwakuma. So if that's not your thing, then ignore this play, but, uh, 4.2 on, uh, on DK and, and 3.8 on FanDuel. So he is more expensive than Travis. And, uh, I imagine I will probably just go ahead and lock in Travis for my cash games, but, um, there is something to be said for a differentiation play there as Travis should be extremely popular. So on DK, I almost feel like you have to play Adrian Beltre. Um, he's in cores against the lefty for 4K, so I expect him to be like the absolute mega chalk. However, I don't really like the play. Uh, Tyler Duffy is, is really pretty good, and, and he's good at not getting blown up. He gets a ton of soft contact against righties, 30% soft contact. That's crazy. Only 24% hard contact. Another good number. Um, but I, I feel like the chance to get steamrolled there is probably great enough that I would want him there. Even on FanDuel, he's 3.8, so he's a bit more expensive relatively, but um, probably going to be pretty chalky there too. Uh, but I also, on FanDuel especially, don't mind Bregman. 
against Tyler Duffy. 3.6 on DK is kind of meh, but uh, 2.5 on FanDuel if he's batting second, as he has been, is a pretty damn good price. Duffy also struggles with righties. Um, and then uh, Josh Donaldson against Odo Rizzi, I think, is a fine differentiation play if you are siding with my opinion that Adrian Beltre may well struggle against uh, Tyler Anderson. Then I think the right move if you think that is to pay up and go to 4.7 for uh, Donaldson, and uh, he's 4.2 on FanDuel, and uh, take the differentiation that way. All right, we've got a smorgasbord at shortstop today. Uh, DR has just been going crazy. I like him a little better on DK today. He's 5.1 there, 4.4 on FanDuel, gets uh, Waylon. Um, I can't even remember Whalen's first name. It makes me think of Griff Whalen, but he's a football player. <laughs> um, and then also Corey Seegers, 5.1 on DK against Eflin. He's only 4.0 on FanDuel, so he's my preference there in the pay-up department. Um, but there's also a very good argument for uh, a guy like Oswaldo Arkia, um, also against Whalen. He's only 2.1 on FanDuel. He's 3.5 on DK, so I'm not so interested there. But on FanDuel, he's uh, definitely got my attention. And then also, uh, Zach Cozart against uh, Michael Waka. Uh, he's only 3.4 on DK, 3.2 on FanDuel, which is far less interesting to me where we got our idea to go to. But Cozart typically bats second, and uh, that kind of cheap price is probably a good value if you can't get in one of the top shortstops. As usual, a few too many outfielders than we know what to do with, but um, here are some of my favorite choices. Really, Coors is kind of rough. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't can't fault you for playing guys there, but they're really expensive and the matchups are really not good. Um, my favorite's probably Ian Desmond. Uh, he's 4.8 on DK and 4.2 on FanDuel. Uh, if you're going to attack Tyler Anderson, you want to do it from the right side of the plate. It's not great, but it is better than from the left, so there's that. Um, however, DK's really gifting us Jose Bautista at 3.5 against Odo Rizzi. I'm really picking on Odo Rizzi, which might seem strange, but he has pretty drastic home away splits, and um, you know the numbers are good. These guys are better at hitting righties. Uh, he struggles more with righties. I, I will caution and say he's performed very well against these batters in the past, um, but it's a very, really small sample size too. So anyway, at 3.5, where he bats up at the top of the order, I think I can forgive Jose Bautista a lot since he is an excellent, excellent baseball player. At 3.7 on FanDuel, don't hate it, but don't love it either. You got Adam Jones on FanDuel against Graveman for only 3.6. He's 4.6 on DK. I mean, if you got the money just floating around, I don't hate it, but I think there are better options. Um, Max Kepler has just been on fire lately, and he gets McHugh. Who uh, I actually have a lot of interest in McHugh. I would say he might even be my my DK cash SP2. But if you're not playing him, especially like say on FanDuel, uh, he's 3.3. Uh, uh, Kepler is 3.3, and he's 5.3 on DK. So that should give you an idea that um, something might be a little off with their pricing there on FanDuel. And uh, since you're only playing one pitcher there, you're not playing McHugh in cash. I'll, I'll tell you that. So um, I don't mind Kepler there at all. And then in the bargain basement department, we've got Max Muncy, uh, who's been batting second. He gets Gaussman. It's another matchup I don't love because um, I do have interest in Gaussman. But he's 2.0 on FanDuel, and if he's batting in you know the top third of the order there, that's fantastic. 2.6 on DK. <clears throat> it's a little bit worse, but he also has second base eligibility. So that kind of balances things out a little bit if you hate second base. Of course, we got Devin Travis, so... Anyway, um, definitely like him better on FanDuel. And then there's also Tyler Collins, a 2.6 uh, near the top, first or second, usually in the Tigers order against Iwakuma. Again, not really a guy I love to target, but again, it's a really cheap price. Uh, 2.6 on DK, 2.4 on FanDuel. Uh, come on back by the expert chat, 5 p.m., and um, we'll talk about this some more with uh, Eric, Adam, and Max. And, uh, you know, see what their favorite cash plays are and uh, see what they think of uh, my crazy old ideas. Anyway, thanks for watching this Cash Game Cornerstones. I'm, sl I'm Slurv. This is Steve, or the other way around. <laughs> Good luck tonight, guys. Thank <laughs> you.